Hey everyone, today I am at Bay of Islands and I've just set up to do a painting here. There is only about three hours of daylight left of the day, so I'm gonna need to hurry. Um, I'll show you my setup and then I'll show you the area. All right, so here's my setup and just over here is the view we're looking at. I think it's really spectacular. Now, there was a good view in the other direction from the, like, there's two lookouts here, but the problem was that the sun was glaring and reflecting on the water. Uh, otherwise, I really liked the rocks over that way. Let's get started on a painting. Let's get into the time lapse. So, as you can see, I have just oiled my wooden board, and the drawing up for this painting was from a slightly higher up than usual perspective, and that's because the lookout was up quite high. So... I'm doing my drawing up looking down upon my subject and when I got here the watercolour was really different too by the time that I finished the painting. So when I arrived here the watercolour was kind of like a, a very green colour and then by the time I left the water was like really dark blue and I'm not sure if that's because there was shadow going over the water or if it just actually kind of changed colour because the water here, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in Australia, the watercolour at beaches can really drastically change throughout the day. This spot is actually the worst. <laughs> so there's like five second gaps where there's like no tourists. So actually it's maybe like a minute or two minutes. And then the tourists come, they stand behind you speaking in a different language and you have no idea what they're saying and then they're like they'll go look at your work a little bit and then they'll back off a little bit and then they'll just sit there for ages just talking and i'm like seriously take a photo and go <laughs> please it's so stressful it's so much pressure i don't like this at all maybe it would be okay like early in the morning but like in adelaide we don't get this kind of busy and it is like ridiculous amounts of busy. Anyway, I better get back to the painting before someone else comes along. Sorry everyone, I'm not normally one to complain about people. However, I do struggle a bit with large crowds and also I wasn't feeling particularly confident about my painting at this point in time. One thing I really struggled with while painting this painting was as the sun got lower in the sky, the light from the sun obviously became more orange and the sandstone that is uh, making up all these formations in Bay of Islands is already kind of yellow orange and so the sunlight being that color kind of washed everything out and it also made it hard to tell how my painting was looking and I mean I really was trying to go as quickly as I could because there was quite a lot of people there and I seriously was feeling the pressure and I knew that there wasn't much time until the sun would set and um, it would be dark, but it made it extra challenging and it felt like it slowed me down a little because I couldn't be too sure that my painting was accurate. Bay of Islands is actually a combination of sandstone and limestone. So the difference between the two is that sandstone is made up of um, fish, plants and sand that have uh, gone out from a river and been compacted uh, however any part of the sandstone that has more than 50 percent fossils in it is considered limestone and it actually erodes slower than sandstone it's estimated that the erosion in this area happens at a rate of about one and a half to two centimeters per year so apparently the erosion in this area is actually how this area has formed into a bay of islands and before that it used to just be kind of one solid piece of land so obviously this has happened over a lot of years if the rate of erosion is one and a half to two centimeters per year but i'm assuming that probably varies from year to year um However, still there's been a lot of erosion and you can see the actual main land part of Australia must have gone out quite a bit further. But yeah, thanks to the erosion, we have this beautiful Bay of Islands. At this stage, I felt like the sandstone walls were looking a little bit too flat. So I went ahead and added some extra details with my palette knife and I was just trying to use it. Um, very very thinly to create lines across where the sandstone went and so you can see I'm just kind of putting in lines with my palette knife and 
not like smearing it or anything but just um just getting a bit of extra detail and trying to make those sandstone structures look a bit more true to life okay it has been three hours and i have just finished the painting the sun is starting to set which i'll show you so there's the sun setting in the distance um and now i'll show you my painting all right so here we have it the finished painting let's go in and take a closer look you can see there's quite a lot of texture, so I've got these uh, big rock walls and um, then they kind of go around and there's plants in the foreground. Now the watercolour has changed since I started painting it because now it's in complete shadow. But um, yeah, this is my scene and this is my painting. Here's a photo of my completed painting of Bay of Islands. Now I did take this on a different day because as the sun was setting the light started becoming so orange that the colors were really not looking accurate on the camera anymore and also because it's sandstone and sandstone is already kind of a yellow orange color it just washed out everything so i thought it would be better to take this photo on a different day and um, that way you can see the detail and the colors much better i was in such a hurry because i was really feeling the pressure this day i feel like it ended up looking like the area uh, however, it is a little bit less refined than some of my other paintings. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!